Hi guys, how is everyone doing? Okay guys, I shot a video that was like um, my previous shoot uh, I've since forgiven before committed Yeah, it was a nice shoot But there are people actually that think differently from this Of course, don't get us wrong Today we'll just like wrap it up Like the part 2 of the previous shoot So in the house today guys, it's a bit windy you get The wind is like oh. I have some sweet people in the house. How peace? Oh, you look yeah. so beautiful, right? Thank you. And uh, how fit too. Uh, and today is very happy birthday. Thanks. Thanks. So lovely <laughs> to have you here. Uh, guys, you see how cute he is? He's single and she's single. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we don't I want to begin with you. I uh, since forgiven before committed. You won the previous video, yeah? Yes. So what do you have to say? Um I believe that when Christ died on the cross, mm -hmm. you know, he forgave all our sins even before we were born. Okay. And that understanding, uh, whatever sin you have you committed, you you repent, you ask mm -hmm. God for forgiveness. God forgives you mm -hmm. all constantly. And then that was why he died. Okay. But um, I'll read the scripture in um, second Peter mm -hmm. two twenty. Um, for if after they have escaped the pollution mm -hmm. of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. they are given they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Mm -hmm. For if if it had been better for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness mm -hmm. than after they have known it, to turn from the holy command commandments delivered unto them. Mm -hmm. So now basically the Bible is saying that it would have been better that we don't know Christ in the beginning than we going back. After we've known. Yes, after we've known. Mm -hmm. That the punishment will be will even be right. much more. Much more. Yeah. Okay. So I believe that yes, your sins can be forgiven after, mm -hmm. but after you repent. Like you committed sin, you are in Christ, you sin against God. Once you ask forgiveness, God forgives you and you move on. So you don't have to go and I mean uh, uh, kill a ram or something like nature. So are you trying to say that uh, for every sin that is committed, we need to be like constantly praying and asking God for forgiveness in every time we pray? I would say that um, the reason why our conscience is awakened is mm -hmm. for us to know that what we are doing is wrong. Now, you don't have to go and read a book or read the Bible for you to know. Mm -hmm. Your spirit convicts you of sin. Yeah, yeah. the conscience. Yes. So now the Spirit of God in you conscience. convicts you. The, spirit the, Holy, spirit. the, Holy, spirit. Yeah. the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Yeah, convicts you of sin. Mm -hmm. So if it convicts you of sin, say, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. you're forgiven. That is just it. I mean, look at the Old Testament when David sinned and took someone's wife. And uh, when the prophet came and said, you are the one that committed the sin. He said, oh, I have sinned against God. Immediately, the prophet said, your sins are forgiven. So that is repentance. Yeah, that is repentance. But the, we are like going back. He says that our sins forgiven before, before not like Before after. committed. Yes. 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 They, are for, they, they are forgiven before committed. Because committed Christ, has before. A, Christ has already died. And, uh, that's my point. He already died. Yes. Before you commit the sin. Yes. So you're giving the topic, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Christ has already died. Mm -hmm. Before you committed the sin, mm -hmm. before we, we are born, mm -hmm. he yes. has already died. So oh, therefore, yes. every sin that we are committing, he has been forgiven, he has been paid for. Yes. Yes, sir. He has been paid for. So now, even if you are in Christ and you commit sin, mm -hmm. because it's possible that you are in Christ and you commit sin. Of yes. course, we are still so in now, the flesh. So now, you, once you are in Christ and commit sin, you ask forgiveness, it's forgiven. Then you move on. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, uh, please, let me come to you. Our uh, sins. Forgiven before committed. Do you disagree with anything? Or do you agree with anything? Um, in my opinion, is mm. is two ways. Like mm. sins can either be forgiven before committed. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, before you commit sin, mm. like if you say you're a believer uh -huh. or. If you say you're a Christian, okay, mm -hmm. believer. Yeah, believer. Yes. Like, you know, you know the different sins that exist. Like, yeah. what will make it to God's sin? Like, yeah. so for me, we are made in Christ. We are Christ-like, and we are made in God's image. So, mm -hmm. we cannot live. We can live like God on this planet, Earth, of course. But yeah. like, 
for us to be really clean like clean 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 clean, clean, clean like mm -hmm. it's not really possible so it's very possible for, that you can commit sin even before it's um, committed but then it's preventable yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's very very preventable like i don't know okay yeah. i get so now which part because the the previous video they are saying that okay the guys are trying to make us understand that there is no two ways about it as long as you're a believer your sins are all forgiven already mm -hmm. yes you know every action yeah. is premeditated mm -hmm. premeditated thought mm -hmm. yes before it comes into action you've already thought about it so now they're saying even the one you are thinking about yeah. is forgiven mm -hmm. is it because it's for a natural mind to comprehend yes but for someone that's why they are like it's specifically for believers yeah so yes. now the question is which part do you guys not agree with yeah. what he said you know you know that statement is as well as for the unbelievers see uh, yeah it's as well as for the unbelievers i disagree here we we it we are all sinners right <laughs> when we became born again we believe we are saved and stuff and stuff like that we put on Christ. You know, Paul mentioned that I die daily. You know, um, Paul mentioned I die daily. Mm -hmm. um, um, Jesus Christ statement about the coming of the Lord. He said, even some pastors mm -hmm. and some preachers that they will, he will say, get the, you know, mm -hmm. leave me that I know you not. So now, if there is that, which means that there are people that are believers that are not walking in, in the spirit, said, if we abide in Him and you abide in us. The keys are abiding him, and if we are the representative of righteousness of Christ, mm -hmm. the quest, uh, 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 did Jesus Christ do whatever we did? Mm -hmm. So now, what we are about to do, did Jesus Christ, he was righteous, he's God. Mm -hmm. So now, he what now? He, he, he was in flesh. Mm -hmm. So now, he has a leeway, he could do whatever he wants to do. Mm -hmm. But now, because he was righteous, the righteous seed that he, as uh, John puts it, uh, is in him so he did not do that so as long as you are in him you cannot sin as long as you walk in the spirit you cannot sin the bible said walk in the spirit that you not, you might not fulfill the laws of the flesh but now when we start doing things that we want to do not things that he wants to do we start walking in the flesh and if we start walking in the flesh and the flesh the bible says i mean it's, it's like to death right but now the reason why we are quickened we are quickened by the Holy Spirit now we are made alive eternally. I do understand, but I, I disagree with the part that you said that is applicable to unbelievers. Only. Yeah. No. So I, believers I, and unbelievers. You, I don't agree. The, because, the reason why, the reason because, why I, I said so is this, is this before we, we are born, uh, over 2,000 years ago, uh, um, uh, uh, Christ has already died. Yes. So now, when Christ said it is finished on the cross, mm -hmm. he for said everybody. it's for He died everybody. for the world. That's, That's my point. Like, so God now, the word I gave so, so as yeah. long as you say, oh, I've sinned against God. Like you admit to admit it, it that you have sinned. Confession seen. is made unto salvation. You said, then. I have sinned. That's what I'm saying. That, that makes you a believer. Yes. I mean, you believer. Because you already know what sin what? is. Yes. So like, you just admit to it yes. to God and that way you're forgiven. But when you don't admit to it, like... That is my point. It that that, that you, it, I don't know. The reason why I said it applies to it is not because of. I mean, there's nobody that admits sin. I want to live in sin. Mm -hmm. Of course. So now, if you admit your sin, God sees your heart. God judges your heart. From the Old Testament down to the New Testament, God was interested in their heart. God is still interested. In He's heart. still interested in their heart. Oh, they feel conviction in 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 Acts chapter two. We find that the the Bible they were pricked in their heart. They were sorry. Yeah for killing the messiah and he said what shall we do to be saved so now why i say that it was up is applied to everybody is because as long as you are willing to ask for forgiveness yes. you'll be forgiven so now if you say you are a believer and now for example i say i'm i'm, I'm a believer and um, tomorrow i lie i fornicate i do and like oh i'm a believer so i go and sleep oh i'll, be, I'll still be saved no we have to understand paul said even Paul that wrote more of the New Testament. Now, 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 you said something. Yeah. So, does that mean that if you're a believer and you commit fornication or you steal or you lie, you're yeah. no longer saved? I, what I'm saying no, is this. Are... What I'm saying is this. Okay. The Bible talk about practicing sin. Uh -huh. If you, if you, if you look at, um, uh, if you look at 3rd John, um, 2nd John rather. 
you find that the Bible, uh, First John rather three, the Bible said, if you continue in sin, mm-hmm. the Bible said, uh, uh, um, uh, we are saved by grace. That God forbid that we continue in sin, that grace may abound. So now, if you continue in sin, the reason why our heart is being pricked is because we commit sin. And Which because that, we know that we are committing sin. But for someone that is not a believer, yeah. you will not know. You will not know because you don't even know. That is not you don't know God. Yeah. Like you don't yes, know yes, Him. I so am, you are applicable to yes, the I have, I have I've left that point. I made myself clear. In <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I don't really. Uh, yeah. I don't, I, I I don't agree with that point. Uh, this question is just applicable to the believers. Only like, believers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but unbelievers, yeah. they just do whatever they want to do. Like yes, without yeah. them knowing like the main thing they need to know in yes. God, exactly. in Christ. Yeah. Because if you don't know, you are even a sinner. How Where would you start from? In, in <laughs> true, true. I mean, if we have to take it back to that point, I agree. Mm-hmm. That now a believer, I mean an unbeliever, doesn't know that they are in sin. They are un- the Bible says they are already there. Yeah. The Bible says they won't be judged with they won't stand Where, in judgment yes. with the righteous. That is mm-hmm. for sure. But what I'm also saying they call give your life to Christ. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So we- so I I agree with what you're saying. Okay. But now even moving forward, All even right. moving forward, those people that are quote unquote they say they are sealed by the Holy Spirit and stuff like that. We are all sealed by the Holy Spirit. But now you look at the seven churches that we have mentioned in Revelation. Mm-hmm. That um, uh, those seven churches, some few, I think two or three of them, uh, the Bible said they were right with God. The rest of them uh, called them that uh, said that the, the candle will be taken off of them, mm-hmm. that, that they should repent. Which means that it was calling the church to repent from their ways. Mm-hmm. So now if they don't repent, the candle, and now the candle rep- rep- represents Christ, I mean, in us. And now we are the temple where the very is in us. We will not fulfill the loss of the flesh, and now if we not fulfill the loss of the flesh, we are going to we, we are going to stand with God. We want to get to heaven, and, and the and the Lord said, "Well done, good and faithful servant." That's what we want to hear. Yeah. But now, if we don't, yes. and repentance, we say, is for both the believers and the unbelievers. And the unbelievers yes. yes, it is. But our sins forgiven before committed mm. is specifically to for the believers. believers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That means you are in the same table, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very I, good. I, yeah, I, 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 I did not agree with you. And then the same committed gives you a new bridge yeah. to keep yeah. going back it's to the same. It's not a license thing, like... because, because the problem with, with the, the scary thought with that is there are people that have believed a lie again. Yeah. And now you go out and do whatever. Oh, I'm, I'm saved by Christ. Yes, you are saved once. The Bible says, he that endures to the end shall be saved. Yeah. So now, yes, you are saved from the beginning. Alright guys, we are done with this video already, it's a wrap, uh, before we call it a day, uh, I want to come to you because what is your advice to everyone listening, to every believer out there? We, are- we should not take the grace of God for granted. for granted. Yes. If you sin, as long as you know that you have the Holy Spirit in you, it convicts you of sin, Lord I'm sorry, God forgives you immediately, then you continue. Your destiny is not um, uh, a castaway, you are still his beloved child. You repent, you move on. You repent, you move on. Then you can be rest assured that when you get to heaven, you say that good as faith, faithful servants. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, PC, what do you have to say? Is anyone listening to you? Well, well, um, the sin itself. <laughs> <laughs> the sin itself. So, you are a believer. Mm-hmm. Before you commit sin, you know you want to commit sin. Okay. Mm-hmm. True. Yes, yeah. you know you want to commit sin. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then you also have to admit to yeah. committing this sin to God. Like you have to admit to God that oh, yeah, sincere, yes, honest. and that way you're you're still in the grace of God. Yeah. Yeah. All right. He has said it also. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It doesn't give you license. So. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for everyone out there that keep watching my videos. Thank you, and keep your fingers across. A whole lot of videos coming your way. Is your girl great faith? Remember, and bye.